Hello, 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 hello everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Welcome back to Straight Like That, where I give it to you straight like that. Okay, back again for another reaction on one of these trash mommies would be uh, Olivia Nicole Johnson. Okay, doing a whole lot of nothing. Don't have no content. Just rambling and lying all at the same damn time. All right. How's everyone doing? Hopefully everyone is doing good out there in this new month of February, Black History Month, and all that and above, okay? All right. But we finna get into this uh, Trash Moms content. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe, and let's get into this video. Well, let, hold on, hold on, hold on on that. Hold on, hold on. Now, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I'm not going to say that. I, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Because, hold, anyway. Anyway, this is, anyway, now, hold on. Fuck this club up. Fuck this club up. Look a hot mess. <laughs> I look so crazy. Um, I'm gonna take a shower in a minute though. I just want to feed them and yeah, get myself together. But good morning, happy Sunday. <laughs> I look crazy. <laughs> okay, live no damn well what she was doing when she picked up that camera with that hair sticking up like that. Ain't brushed her teeth, ain't touched the soap, ain't did nothing, but picked up the camera and went in that kitchen and started cooking breakfast for them kids. And looking the way she looking, they do anything. They do anything for attention. Okay, guys, I need to hurry because my kids are rushing me. Oh, here it comes one right now. It goes three actually because Angie's with one. Comes all of them. Not Ryan, not Kailani. Okay. You, you want to say hi, Angie? Come here. Yeah, I, just, I want to put a wave in it. We don't have time because you guys are rushing me. The gag is, uh, Olivia kids don't know no boundaries. You know. Uh, if I'm in the bathroom doing my little finishing touches and getting ready to step out with you kids and y'all rushing me, nah, mm -mm. See, they don't listen to her because, you know, they ain't lived under the roof with her in three years. And see, Livia like to do everything for the camera. Best believe that camera ain't in her motherfucking face. She'll be telling them to get the fuck out the way. I don't care what nobody say. And baby, let me tell you something. Robin, oh, that's Olivia ass all over again, baby. Robin got Olivia's whole face dipped in motherfucking chocolate. Look just like that bitch. Oh, we man. She marked the hell out of her. But why is she standing up here with this big ass shower on and this ugly ass weed? Oh no, you like going out in the pub with your puff balls and all your bullshit. I'm surprised she ain't sit there for a whole hour or two and beat that face up like she normally does. Because, you know, she likes to pretend like she's naturally pretty and she's this and that and ain't filters and um plenty of makeup to do it for you okay excuse me kids say hi hi you guys need to pee no go pee oh shit they're rushing me go pee pee right now go okay. in the other bathroom and pee pee i don't mean to keep stopping this video but you know what kills me too with these internet moms what i don't like is how y'all display so much of y'all personal stuff on the internet you know, you all up in your bathroom putting your damn deodorant on. I, I, I be seeing a lot of creators that vlog their lives and, and the ones that with the kids and the families and all that shit. And I be trying to figure out, like, brushing your teeth. And, and I can see if you're doing a skin routine, like your face and all that stuff. But brushing your motherfucking teeth, we got to see you spitting. We got to see you putting on deodorant. We, we got to see all this shit. And then you up here don't make shit no better. Tell me, like, go pee, go pee. Like, save some of that shit for y'all time. Because, bitch, we don't, I don't mean, I personally, I don't want to hear. Y'all just put so much stuff on the internet. Like, it's just so crazy to me. Like, they don't leave nothing. Nothing I. Okay. Okay. So. As you can see, I threw a wig on. This is my 30 inch bust down. Um, 
Yes, I feel really cute, you guys. I told you guys I was working on my... I really don't care what you're working on. And bitch, I don't give a fuck if that motherfucking wig was to the flow. That wig is not cute on you. Number one, it's too motherfucking black. And it's long. And it's obnoxious. And you got the wrong outfit. I'm talking about you working on your wardrobe and how you dress and all that shit. Yeah, yeah, you did that. Thank you. I'm glad you said that because you softer than a motherfucker. And you wear the same motherfucking shit too. You don't know how to dress either. You think... Your best assets is your big ass breasts and your damn face and your eyes, and it ain't. It ain't so, sister, because that wig is not what's up. I'm working on my fashions this year, and I feel like I look really cute right now. I put a little effort into it. This kid is George. Even though Robin is making fun of me because she's saying that she's not used to me wearing a wig. She hasn't worn a wig in a very long time. That's why she looks... She, I'm like, where's my mother? Where did, what did you do to her? Robin, it's a whole lot of shit I want to explain to you about your mammy. Sis, and it ain't got nothing to do with a goddamn wig. You see, that's what I was saying earlier. They're, they're hardly ever with her. Because, baby, your mama wear wigs all the time, boo. And I know she got them wigs up in, that, in her room, up in that closet somewhere. Y'all done seen her goddamn wigs. Now, I don't know if y'all look at her on social media or what the situation is with, with y'all home front or however y'all go. But, baby, you need to but, child, stay in the child's place. <laughs> it's some stuff I can just say about your mom. Stay in the child's place. Peace. <laughs> yeah. Yeah? <laughs> They're balling out of control because they each got $10. What the word? What a money reside, what a money reside, what a money reside, what a money reside. It was no. good. <laughs> and mommy got some pretty uh, Valentine's Day stuff. So I can give you guys like a little haul when I get home and show you guys like what I got and you know, just pertaining to Valentine's Day. I just got a couple things, not a lot. Girl, Olivia look a fucking mess with these close up pictures. Oh Lord. That mouth, oh, that wig. Girl, you ain't taking your kids to the dollar store. This is the best you can do with them kids with you. The dollar store to buy Valentine's Day shit. Valentine's Day gonna be through the week and they gonna be with their daddy and their stepmama. You're not gonna make no attempts to take them nothing to school for Valentine's Day. You're not gonna go get them out to school and take them somewhere for Valentine's Day. You're not gonna do none of that. You buying that shit to put up in your house. You don't, you don't spend money on your kids. You don't even pay the child support for your children. You know you're supposed to pay it. Like, girl, you you the epitome of trash. I'm not finna well, keep watching Olivia child. I'm finna <laughs> her up and boot scooter this mug alone. Big Bertha just get out that bed with some tights on and one of them shirts that she always be wearing. Get up, go in the bathroom to brush her teeth, wash her face. She she did a half ass morning routine. Uh, sprayed that fucking hair, put on deodorant. What is up with her with putting on deodorant? Like randomly just putting on deodorant. Girl, you don't put deodorant on after you take a bath and put your. I don't understand her. Oh, weirdo.
How is this a morning routine? We watched her go in the bathroom. She come out, she get the baby. She changed the baby. She what looks to appears to like she put on some some diaper cream, uh, butt cream, whatever the hell you put on the baby's bottom, and uh, just proceeded to put her clothes on and and uh, put her back on her shoulder where she's always at. She ought to love Liv's fucking shoulder. And Liv proceeds to get her phone and just take pictures. This is literally what she call a morning routine. I get it. Some people do a, a lot of different things in the morning time. Hell, I do different shit in the morning time. I mean, Liv act like as if this her first merry-go-round with a baby. Like, she don't, don't know how to take care of a baby. I get it. This 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 one baby that you giving her a lot of attention, you giving her more attention than you gave your other children. I'm just gonna say that. I know that the youngest girl was really attached to her. She breastfed her. She was her last, you know, child. But girl, Livy, we don't want to see you and Kaylani. Girl, get off of here with that. Say good morning. Oh, Lord, please get this clear pink bald head baby out the camera. This baby, this baby don't look like Stella and AJ all browned up in one. Whew. Liv, you think, you really think uh, baby, uh, clear pink baby cute? That's what you think, right? You her mom, so I get, yeah, mm-hmm, automatically, you gonna think she cute. But uh, we don't really care about her chilling. Uh, she really looked like she hungry, because she looked like she was trying to get to the motherfucking fingers. You know, you you had that shit bad, half-ass feeding that motherfucking baby. But you want to sit there and say she getting so big. No, she not. She looked like she was the same damn size she was when you bought her ass home from that hospital. And you ain't took her to no motherfucking doctor for nobody to even know how much she even weigh anymore. So, uh, at this point, sis, stop with the lies. No, she ain't chilling. She hungry. And you just want to keep that camera up in her face because you think she pretty. And she's not. Don't nobody um get their panties in a bunch because I said it because I know a lot of a lot of y'all want to see it. And act like <laughs> you don't want to see it because you don't want nobody to be mad at you for saying something about a baby. Girl, please. People talk about babies. Handicapped people, old people, fat people, skinny people all day, every day. Child, you, she, um, uh, Mm -mm, she ain't exempt. <laughs> I want to give a big shout out to Arenti for sending me these baby. Yeah, I know y'all know that she been doing a lot of sponsor videos. <laughs> I ain't mad at you, sis. Get your sponsorship on. Uh, that's what you need to do because you ain't doing nothing else. You need to be sponsoring. Because you don't do no uh, mommy vlogs. All you do is go live and talk your shit and want to get praises from your chat. So do your sponsorships. I'm going to give you that credit. What's up with the core water and the and the um energy drink? What's up with that? I thought that once you start working out, I'm I'm not a a, a, a fit, fitness fanatic, but I do I do I well I did used to go to the gym a lot, but I I don't anymore, and I definitely need to step my ass back up in there because baby it's a whew, a whole overhaul over here, okay, and talking shit about somebody else. But um uh, anywho, she putting her shit on social media live and at five and give people shit to talk about. So, uh, I'm just trying to figure out what's up with the energy drinks. What did you need that for? Don't when you work out and you getting routinely getting your body, you know, you, you claim that you on this health journey and all that stuff. What you need the energy drinks for? You wearing your waist training. You got your, your baby treadmill. You got your baby weight bench. You got the things that you need. What you need the energy drink for? I don't, I don't like energy drinks, and I be hearing a lot of shit people be saying about them. Girl, Liv, go lay down. Better not tell that bitch she ain't fine with that motherfucking triple scrapped ass motherfucking waist trainer she got on squeezing her ass up in that motherfucking waist trainer. Girl, Liv, you look a hot ass motherfucking mess with, by the head and the motherfucking body. And obviously, she must don't wear no motherfucking bra. And then she do well, bro. She need to get her some good, invest her money in some good ass bras. Cause baby, them breasts is big, bigger than her whole motherfucking head.
And what they do this at? Who walks on a treadmill with no shoes on? She bitch want to be extra. She she want extra attention. Cause who does that? She got this damn baby so fucking spoiled. She got to keep on holding her. So she scraps her around. Where's that? I forgot what you call that baby kangaroo thing. Oh, whatever they call it. So you just got to scrap her in and keep her close near and dear because her spoiled ass would not stay laying down. I really think her problem is she's not getting full. So she's constantly up because every time she wake up with the crying, she always stick a ball in her mouth. And that's what she does. She be hungry. Cause she half ass feeding a damn baby. Libby is one freaking weirdo. Girl, you up here with that girl. I hope you don't ever drop a weight on her motherfucking head because you is stupid. This lady stays up all night on TikTok. She only made this video for social media. This is not what she does on a daily basis. I'm telling you this now. And, um, you know, that's good that you're working out, sis. There's nothing wrong with that. You built up that confidence going on work out, even though you know, you know you're doing it for other reasons. Because any other time, you always thought that you were this confident-ass big girl and, and ain't nobody better than you. You the baddest. And you're not. You better go watch J&J &J, uh, live video he did over there in Las Vegas with his homies over there letting them rape you and Jasmine and strong mommy Chrissy. And baby, you was at the bottom of the barrel. Baby, they was like, uh, you got some work to do. Okay, we all do. But baby, since you want to be on social media and putting yourself all out there on front street for the world to see, Baby, they was judging. They ain't against the big girls, but baby, you is a hot mess. Now, man, you ain't the big girl that, that's going to be chosen, okay? Uh, what's up? It's your girl, Liv. And in today's video, I have a good one for y'all. I'm starting this video out as a cleaning video. I needed some much needed cleaning done in my room, girl, okay? Organizing, cleaning, putting stuff up, all that good stuff. That's mommy's do. Yeah, the real mommies do. Not your ass. You too busy sitting up there holding Kalani and holding that motherfucking camera in your face going live so people can tell you that baby pink clear is cute and she's not. Girl, in that room, is you're not cleaning it. You putting up clothes because you look like the type of person have shit sitting all around your room because from where it looks like you don't make your bed up, your room look a hot mess and it don't look like your baby sleeps in that, in that little play thing over there, whatever they call it. She don't sleep in that. I noticed that you have a play playing thing in the living room for her to sleep in. You don't put her ass over there either, but you did have her in there one time. But you don't be using those reasons. You keep that baby in your arm, on your shoulder. Girl, make it make sense. Okay, y'all. So I kind of clean up the closet a little bit. I don't know. I just rearranged some things. Um. Okay, so I know I have boxes in here, but that's because I don't want to unpack this stuff. Because I won't be here that long. And... There she go. She she's throwing that tea out there. She ain't unpacking them boxes because uh she don't plan on being there that long. What is the purpose of them spending all this money for her to go back and forth, moving back, back and forth, back, 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 back? Livia needs to understand and and sit her ass down. So well, girl, you're not getting those kids back. And kids gonna be with their daddy. And something unless something happened to their daddy. You ain't getting them kids back. <laughs> Oh, she finally took them sheets out that bed and washed them, baby. I know that mattress probably screaming. Ooh, thank you, Jesus. She finally put them motherfuckers in the washing. I ain't never even seen the washing and dry. I ain't never seen her wash no goddamn clothes. Ooh, but look who look who in her arms. She can't even put Kaylani ass down. What the purpose of you having a virtual baby shower and, and your supporters gave you all this shit? You had you got a baby swing. Tell me what she ain't worried about that swing. No, she will be in that swing. And she will be swinging. She'll stop whining. I, she, she can, I'll let her whine. I'll turn the music up on her ass. Let her whine. As long as I know how to fed. But see, I can say that, but Livia can't say that. Because Livia don't properly feed her till she's full. Most newborn babies, they like being rocked. And that's what the swing does. That she can sit there talking about what that baby don't like. No, you don't put her ass in there. Because you done got her spoiled. So she don't want to be in there. Duh. Okay, y'all. So in today's video, I am trying out the Utenic U12 Vesla vacuum cleaner. This company sent this over for me to review for y'all, and I'm so excited to try it. This 
See, this is another thing. She gets she gets free stuff. She she gets sponsorships. Livy wants y'all to think some man taking care of her. No, she getting it how she live. AJ, come here. Run. Run. <laughs> This little boy, y'all. What are you doing, AJ? Olivia? Yeah. Okay, y'all. So, we just left about that place. <clears throat> Let me tell you the reason why Olivia has both of those kids with her. And this is something that you never see Olivia traveling anywhere with both of those children. You know what they at? They at the wig office. I know the motherfucking wig office when I see the wig office. And if y'all don't know what that wig office is, uh, I'm quite sure they got them in everybody's state. But in the state of Texas, they have a wig office. Um, yeah, you, yeah, that's fine. They have a... Um, a, a wig is for women and infant children. They give, you know, them the infants, the formula, the baby food shit that they need. Uh, the little toddlers and shit. And once they one years old, they give them the regular milk and you know regular you know cereal that you know everybody eat and eggs and fruits and stuff like that. It's like a little voucher things that you use in the store. You know it, it helps uh, a lot of uh, you know women with buying expensive formula if they're not breastfeeding. But I, I don't understand how Olivia is buying formula and she's giving her the breast milk as well she need to make up her mind which one of the milks is she gonna get if you're gonna give her your breast why do you just don't pump the milk and put it in a bottle if you just want to just get her off the breast already because the shit is not making no sense you don't work you don't do shit you don't do nothing but hold all day you might as well fucking breastfeed you started her with the shit Girl, you, you just do shit for for the internet and for for your little channel you don't do stuff that you normally would do in real time. Guarantee you, y'all, she, if the cameras went on, the baby, she probably is a hot mess with that baby. I'm telling you, hot mess. AJ running through that damn place. Is it because that's how them, them little wig places be looking like that? Because it's for children, you know what I'm saying? And um, running through that with them damn hard bottom ass shoes he got on. Girl. Uh-uh. Wait, you want the window down? There, look out the window. <laughs> He's like, <laughs> the sun, honey. All right, I gotta go get her some formula. Um, I don't know if I want to go into this store, though. There's a Kroger right here. I don't really like Kroger. I really don't. stories about my house that's, a, that's another thing about these women too they never know what their kids want and need now she's sitting here running her mouth talking to the fucking camera she don't know what aj want she uh, you want me to let the window down who lets the window down on their little bitty children i care it's the video and the content is so stupid and the noises that she made all that, uh, um uh, it's like oh Damn, like Stella, you failed at this. This one right here, sis, you failed. Y'all see, y'all see what it said. Y'all see what it said. Don't play with me. Olivia Johnson, Liddy Poo, whatever they call you. Bitch, you wish you was a motherfucking boss, baby. Girl, you don't know the. You, bitch, you don't even not fill out an application at this point. You're, you're, who have you ever worked for on a decent ass job bossing up on anything and making any kind of money girl you wish you was a, a boss baby you're a bust down ass sofa ass clown sitting up there talking about you trying to work on your fashions and you put on the same shit look at that black shirt baby if you got a lot of them baby I can't tell cause you wear that motherfucker in the ground okay Lonnie back there getting it started AJ bored as fuck. Girl, them children ain't trying to go up in no goddamn grocery store with your ass. You is not finna go in no store with no AJ and no damn newborn baby. No, ma'am. You go in that store with the with the web kids for you do that. You is not about to do that, honey. Thinking she cute, looking like a big old butch.
let me figure out what I'm gonna do <laughs> that was a really good experience though in there I didn't have any even though I did that all by myself with two babies my mom was like, are you sure you don't want me to come with you? I'm like, no, mom, I got this. I got this. You big cold-blooded dummy. <laughs> no, for real though, I got this, what the fuck? I did it with three babies. I've been doing this. I've been, <laughs> I've been on my mommy shit. The lie detector determined that was a lie. I've just gotten spoiled. I'm spoiled, I can't help that. No, it's not called you're spoiled. No, you using the shit out your mom. You dragging your mama through the river on her, in her last motherfucking days and years. That's what you doing. You ain't spoiled. Ain't nobody spoiling your big ass. Your mama just needs to stop coddling you and making you feel like you entitled to all that help. That's why you're not going to never grow and be a real mama that you're supposed to because you don't take care of those kids by yourself. So, bitch, you're technically not no single mama of two children. You're a single mama of one because you take care of nobody but Kaylani. You don't take care of both of your children together. Make it make sense, big girl. I've gotten spoiled having my mama, and that's why I'm even thinking I'm either gonna drop them off and go do what I gotta do, or I'm gonna have my mama come with me. So let me call her and let me figure out what I'm gonna do. I love you guys. Okay, bye. Stop it. Get some help. Let me see what it is. Um, I got one of these delicious ass burritos. This shit banging. Mmm. Mmm. Could y'all the baby off? Shit, we knew that. You weren't finna take our hollering ass up in those stove. You definitely wouldn't have been able to do nothing with her or that little boy. We know you was finna drop her ass off to Stella. This is another thing that grinds my gears with her. She always talk about... She she vlogs bullshit and, and, and playing people face. But when she be the really went went to do something, she always come back with that. Oh, I didn't vlog that, guys. Oh, I forgot the vlog. Oh, I didn't have my camera. Oh, I didn't vlog that, but I'm going to talk about it. But she's not going to talk about it. It's like, why are you even mentioning it? Because didn't nobody ask your ass, so why is you talking about it? Don't nobody give a damn about her ass going to no damn court. Who cares? I didn't vlog it earlier. Um, and I'm really not going to take you guys along this process with me. That's why I didn't speak on it or vlog it earlier. I went to the courthouse earlier today and, um, got some stuff done. Mm. She is so fucking disgusting. Like, why is you talking and trying to eat at the same time and all that moaning and shit that she does? Girl, eat your food and talk about it afterwards. Uh, stop throwing chips in your mouth and crunching at the same motherfucking time. Because it's getting on my nerve. Just get to the fucking point, sis. It's just crazy. This world is crazy. People are crazy. So at least protect yourself at all times. You need to go to the bathroom, look at yourself in the mirror, and slap your reflection. Because this is some sad ass shit. And yeah, guys, but I hope you guys are having a good day. Always protect yourself at all costs. And yeah, guys. But like I said, I'm not taking you out through that process. I'll let y'all know everything when, it, when it's over. So she's sitting there having her whole mukbang while he back there asleep. And he gonna get his when he wake up. But you said that you finna go to the store. So you gonna have to wake him up and you get him out the car. So you gonna let him do eat his food uh, in, his, in the grocery store. When you could have just left him there with, with his mama. Shit. You left you left uh, uh, crybaby cry pink, pink clear at home. You should have left his little clear ass at home too. Shit. Girl, you up on this damn thing talking a whole lot of nothing. Don't he ain't saying shit. <laughs> I was just singing this on them. Hop little bunnies, hop, hop, hop. Hop little bunnies, hop, hop, hop. Hop, hop little bunnies. Yeah. Sorry, I know. I'm not Happy dressed. Birthday. I'm comfortable. Oh, what'd you say? Happy birthday. <laughs> look how crowded uh, that her apartment look. That apartment is giving hoarder. 
<laughs> she got so much shit and all that di different color ass furniture. She you had a spun uh, somebody uh from her company sent a shelf over there to her to review on her channel. And um, she put that motherfucker together. That's one thing about her big ass. She gonna put some shit together because she ain't got no help. She ain't got no friends and she don't know no niggas. And um, she's sitting up here talking about this, you know, she ain't got no clothes on, but, you know, she comfortable. See, that's the shit I be talking about. Yeah, you comfortable, bitch, but uh, we don't want to see your body. We don't want to see your breasts. We don't want to see nothing. We don't want to see your big face ass in the camera. Um, all right, so yesterday, as you guys know, we went to the store, right? And I was gonna vlog the whole thing. The lies! There you the go, lies, there it the lies. We, It was our first time going to the store since having baby girl. Happy birthday, Kalani! She better watch AJ ass. You don't pull Kalani out that motherfucker. That's the first time I ever, ever known her to put her in that, that little bassinet, little, whatever little crib situation. That's my first time ever seeing her put her in there. Her swing is up here because obviously I can't put it on the floor because he'll try to get in it. So, looky, looky, got the damn swing up in the crib situation. You see what I'm saying? I, what they do that? I've never seen no baby in the swing up in the goddamn crib. You teach your smaller babies don't mess with the baby and you keep your eye on them. Girl, he still can pull her up out of there if he really wants. He climbs on every. Oh, this lady got poor parenting skills. Poor. Well, that's just a perfect place for it for right now. While she's so little, you know, I don't want him trying to sit on her or trying to throw things at her or try to yank her out the swing, you know. Because, girl, he is a boy for real, okay? Ooh, that side view is crazy. AJ, what, baby? What are you trying to get out of here? You put this in here? So I started the vlog yesterday. Like, okay, guys, we're going to the store. Let's go. And I was going to vlog our first time at the store here. The lie detector determined that was a lie. Um, anyway, with that being said, I came home and I cleaned. I cleaned down boots, okay? Um, And I didn't even clean everything. That Olivia is a hot-ass mess. Look at her head. Look at her face. Ooh. This whole area is quite big. Let me show y'all. Okay, this is where I'm starting, right? This is the starting point. This is the kitchen. So this is the dining room, which is a hot-ass mess. I'm going to get the dining room together. Please do, because when I seen all this shit, baby, I got triggered. This is the living room. Okay. Another thing that I was thinking about, I was going to vlog last night while I was cleaning. I was like, I kept thinking to myself, I need to be vlogging clean. See how she just tell lies after lies after lies? She vlog bullshit. She vlog unnecessary lies, unnecessary TikTok shit. She come on the internet to address reactors when they reacting to something that she done done or they saying something about her ass. She gets on the internet. But you didn't. You forgot to vlog it. Cleaning. Deep cleaning. Ain't this what the mommies do on their damn channels is clean up Take care of their kids. Girl, you need to go back and do some research because, sis, you, you, you're out of there with them. You're out of there. But I was thinking while I was cleaning up yesterday and moving sofas and doing everything I was doing, I am so happy that I've got these old sofas and, you know, I got used furniture. There's more than one reason why I got used furniture. People think I got used furniture because I'm just a broke-ass bitch. Okay, cool. Because you're not that cute. And your hair is uneven. You look dusty. If that's what you want to think, that's fine. Yeah. Think that. Uh, we ain't got to think shit because we already see what the views looking like, sis. But somebody is already almost at 100K. You, your viewership is not even past 10,000. So miss me with the bullshit. You and Jasmine both do the same shit. Y'all tip tat with them damn views on y'all damn channel. And you trying to be a smart ass time to think that, and that's fine. First of all, sis, we don't give a damn if you got a dime or a nickel in your motherfucking pocket. We know you a bitch that ain't got them coins, though. If anybody money getting spent around that bitch, it's your mamas. And your ass getting them sponsorships, that shit right there is, is putting a little money in your pocket. And then on top of that, you getting free shit. 
So don't get on here trying to cap like your ass got it going on and you got it like that, like you big bank hank or some damn body just because you wouldn't pay cash for a goddamn me gas guzzler big mileage on that motherfucker bitch we do not care about nothing girl the shit that you be talking about is so irrelevant you know you do you know how much these women are evolving this month women are riding on nice cars pulling up into their driveways of their homes parking their shit in their garages bitch you is in a you don't even you're not even a stable bitch so miss me with the trying to act like you got it like that because you're not that bitch and plus, people forget to realize that I've had all new furniture before. Like, that's not a flex to be able to buy new furniture. The, uh, the flex is to be able to keep furniture in your, in your house. The flex is to be able to keep a house or a place, a roof over your head that's under your name for you. You know, we're all grown-ass people. Cap. First of all, who is she talking about? About what's not a flex? Uh, it is a flex to be able to buy new, uh, brand new ass furniture. And bitch, we don't care about what you used to have. When, when did she have some brand new furniture? A long time ago when she was with Gerard, because I ain't seen Olivia buy no new furniture. I, I, I done seen her go to the savage places. I ain't seen her buy no new furniture. And bitch, ain't nothing wrong with nobody having no nice furniture in their motherfucking house. Cause bitch, to be technical with your ass, bitch, every four, five years, I'm changing my shit. And I don't even have no Liberty Keys running around my house to dirty up my motherfucking furniture. So, I don't know what you're talking about. The flex is having a roof over your head or having a place to stay in, in your name. Is your apartment in your name? Because a word on the curb, if it is, you paid a lot of money to, for it to be in your name because, you know, you got a lot of evictions and shit on your motherfucking record. Olivia, stop the motherfucking cap, sis. Stop the cap. The fuck you mean a flex? Yeah, you goddamn right. It's a flex, cause shit is very expensive these days, and and, and you can go out there and, and and got some extra money to buy you some new furniture. Who the hell wouldn't buy it? Girl, please. You wish, girl. Stupid ass conversation. <laughs> That's the flex, okay? Buying used furniture, y'all, y'all fools. If See, what she doing is she repeating stuff that she ain't already seen in, in the comment sections and, you know, different things that were said on uh, reaction channels about her ass. No, bitch. The thing about it is, don't nobody want no no used furniture. Don't give me no used mattresses. Don't give me no used furniture because, bitch, I don't want no bed bugs and I don't want no dirty, nasty ass motherfucking furniture because, as y'all can clearly see, when she was in Florida and when she moved to Texas, the furniture that she did pick up, she did not clean none of that shit. She just put that shit up in her damn house. It's just that you know how nasty she is. Everybody that's coming in the damn savage place, sitting on the shit, testing this out, motherfucking children jumping all on it. You take it back to your motherfucking house. You mean tell me you ain't gonna get that motherfucker clean? You should have standing steam up in that motherfucker, cleaning that motherfucking furniture. But what's she doing? They got blankets and spreads and all kind of shit thrown across the motherfucker. Girl, do you miss me with that? Mm -hmm. If you guys didn't know, they steam clean all of their furniture when they get it. Like the couches, the cushions, the actual couch, everything they steam clean. How, how the fuck does she know they steam clean that shit when they put it up in them stores? Girl, you a damn lie. That's just like any of these stores you go in, them thrift stores, all that shit. You have to wash all this stuff, girl. You Are you dumb? Oh my. Sorry for the choppy vlog, y'all. Like I said yesterday, it was a nice little trip too. I wish I vlogged it because we went to Starbucks. We got us some coffee. God damn, how many lies she gonna tell? See how she was? Uh, she went to Starbucks. They went out. She went to Starbucks. She wish she would have vlogged it. This motherfucker is lying. She didn't want to vlog. She vlogs what she want to vlog. So she can go on, get them geezers on up out of here because ain't nobody trying to hear that shit. And I'm tired of hearing her and I'm tired of looking up in her ugly ass, clear ass face. Anywho, I uh, uh, hope y'all enjoyed this uh, tragic ass video because baby, it was long and it was a hot mess. She was a hot mess. And uh, yeah, that's all I got for this video, child. I can't take it no more. I got to shut it down. All right. See y'all in the next video. Please like, share, comment, subscribe, and I'll see y'all.